I hope wherever you are on this earth, it is as beautiful as it is here in St. Louis, Missouri, in the United States. A crisp fall morning, sun changing leaves, blue sky. What is not to love? Thank you, God. And thanks to all of you as we join together in prayer. This is the God Minute. I'm Father Ron. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O Lord, open my lips, and and my my mouth mouth shall shall declare declare your grace. Ezekiel 36 I am your God. I will sprinkle clean water upon you, says the Lord, to cleanse you from all your wrongdoings. And from all your corrupt ways, I will cleanse you. I will give you a new heart and place a new spirit within you, taking from your bodies hearts of stone and giving you natural ones. I will put my spirit within you and ask that you live my word, filling the earth with majesty and hope. You shall live in the land I gave your fathers. You shall be my people, and I will be your God. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of John, chapter 14, verse 23. Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Can you name the people you love? How many would you say are among the ones you love? Ten? Twenty-five? or more than 50. I imagine that there are many we like and not necessarily love, and vice versa, many we love and don't always like. In some ways, we can also say that there is a universal and somewhat generic way of saying that we love people. Of course, beyond this general way of feeling love for others, There are those whom we love in a particular and exclusive way. For example, our family, friends, and spouses. The love I have for a friend, a family member, or a spouse should feel different because of the commitment involved. Saying that I love my friend or sister means more than words. Indeed, The evangelist John reminds us of this simple truth. To say that we love the Lord means more than words. Jesus says, If you love me, you will keep my word and do what I command. The commitment in loving Jesus, then, goes beyond mere sentimentality. To say we love Jesus means that we follow in his footsteps by doing our best to live out the behavioral pattern set by him. We know from the gospel stories how Jesus' words and actions revealed the love of the Father. In his character and outreach to others, we discover that Jesus is not afraid to love others unconditionally. We see that his love for others is revealed in mercy, justice, kindness, reconciliation, friendship, and joy. Do you see yourself among those he loves? What is it about your relationship with Jesus that tells you he loves you? John's Gospel tells us that we feel Jesus' love in his company. 
far from being a generic love, Jesus' love is intimate, near to me, near to us. We know that these are not just fancy or corny words. Far from sentimentality or sappiness, Jesus' love is sacrificial and Eucharistic, giving of himself in every age and in every way. This day, let us embrace his love in confidence. Let us not be afraid to love in the manner of Jesus. We pray that our sacrificial and Eucharistic love for others will bring us even closer to Jesus' company. And let us ask God to instill that love within us as we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, you are the source of joy, peace, and love, which is shown through your Son's sacrifice on the cross. On the days when my patience is thin, remind me of your mercy toward me, Take away the frazzled feelings of stress and replace them with heaping portions of self-control seasoned with patience and flavored with kindness. We ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. May the light of Christ be upon you. And with your spirit. Go now in his love and protection, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A blessing to be together. Thank you for joining us in prayer today. And Javier, gosh, thank you for that beautiful reflection. And may God's love hold us today. And we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>